see which one should we try first. Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. Get some drinks. for a while. Did you have fun? Pentagoni's golden hour is pretty amazing, isn't it? I'm not sad. It's just that 
This dream is so loving and forgiving. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. I... I am a lawful resident. At least now I am. Hey, could you come closer? Closer, please. I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone? <laughs> I see. Whether you realize it or not, I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well... Someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. <sighs> he looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair... Ah! He's coming our way! Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer Girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. You're such a hoot, buddy. This is Penacone. Of course you're in a dream. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped Yorello 6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? Firefly? I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Oh, seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacone? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. 
Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penicone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Always an honor to have the trailblazer by my side. Ha! 
What a scam. Uh, it takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Commercial district? Bingo! Our destination is right there. Pepe Papeshi Salon. Introducing the new movable shadow sentinel. Give your child the perpetual joy they long for.
This is no ordinary salon. The only guests allowed to enter are the Papeshi people. Or those with VIP cards. But then again, nothing is too difficult for Sempo. here who want to come with me. Any seats left inside? Mm. How many of you? Three. Show me your VIP card. No problem. Here it is. I'm talking about your friends. I've already seen yours. Um, well, how can my friends have VIP cards when they've only just arrived? <laughs> Can you make an exception and let them in? I'll provide my VIP card as guarantee that they won't cause any trouble, okay? No, I can't break the rules. Please go home if you don't have the card. Well, seems like we can't go in. Just stay cool. Let me think of something. <gasps> Got it. Okay, so we aren't going in anymore. But could you help me pick up something I left inside? The moment of betrayal. The cloud of doubt. And everlasting hatred. Just mention the clown's items to Miss Thunderbolt. She'll understand what I mean. Pfft, just be patient. I'll explain everything when the time comes. Sure thing. I'll deliver your message to her. Please wait here. <clears throat> Here's the items you asked for. Uh, Miss Thunderbolt said these alone wouldn't be enough. She wanted you to have these broken dreams. She said, do with them as you see fit. Miss Thunderbolt is such a thoughtful person. Thank you so much. Now, we're only short of one item, which we might be able to find in an arcade machine. Coincidentally, there's one at the salon entrance. 
Let's get moving. I want to show you something fun. You're mistaken, Miss Firefly. This is an arcade. This fine machine has a sense of aesthetics worthy of the dreamscape. It's nothing like the techie junk you see around Punk Lord. Hey, how about you try touching it and see what happens? with this TV. But it's fine if you want to give it a shot. I trust your judgment.
You look so... cool. You got swag now, pal. So, how did she turn into that? Oh, you don't get it, do you? Well, she was sucked into the TV just now and swapped bodies with Hanu. Hold on, let me take a closer look. <gasps> look! The title of this game is Hanu's Adventure. According to the plot synopsis, you have been shrunken down by one of Stone's devices. You will embark on an epic adventure to rescue Dreamville with your miniature body. Now, if you want to return to your normal size, you have to do everything that Hanu has done in the cartoon series. Or you can just touch this TV. It says, enter the door to start your adventure. You have to climb inside from there to start your challenge, pal. We'll cheer you on. <laughs> of course we will. Good luck. didn't finish the game, did you? Well, I'm gonna have to ask you to finish that game. I need those game rewards so I can let you two experience something fun. Swap bodies again through the TV, you'll be able to destroy the obstacle and break through. <laughs> oh!
I hate my mouth for revealing my secret. plan again and taken the treasure I worked so hard to snatch away from other people. Fine. I'll admit it. You've rescued Dreamville once again. But you just wait. I'll be back!
proverbial moment of freedom you have earned it now that we've got everything we need we just need to go into a dream <gasps> just follow me <laughs> you're about to experience the real fun Ready. Miss Firefly. <gasps> that is where the good stuff is. my friends to try something fun, if you know what I mean. I'll be my guest. 
Dr. Edward welcomes anyone who's ready for some excitement. How about we use your dreamscape, sir? A superb idea, sir. Let's do it! The one from last night would be perfect! Um, what's going on? This is a service we offer to our long-time customers. You can submit dreams you've recently had to me. With the relevant emotion prototypes, I'll be able to turn them into customized dream bubbles that can be experienced repeatedly. Exactly! Looks like you've got the picture. You probably woken up from a dream one time and wished you could just go back to dreaming it, right? A dream I wished I could have continued after waking up. Miss Firefly, I admire your eagerness, but please be patient. Allow me to use my dream as a demonstration. I trust you have prepared all the necessary materials. Please, hand them over to me. Time. Ugh, where's this? Is this the clinic in the Bellabog underworld? Why is it empty? This is the surprise that will be revealed later. You have to remember, in a dream, anything is possible, possible, possible. Oh, no need to be hasty now. You should take a moment to get used to the feeling of being in a dream within a dream. this another note? That's the thing about dreams. Anything can feel familiar. Stop nitpicking the details. If you ask me, I'd say you should take a look outside, but don't get frightened by what you see. Hi, 
him and her. How do you hear him, Baba? A sable ashatana is a bogora daya. Have you heard? I heard all you hear, Baba. Love you, Baba. Baba. Have you ever been out of bed? Baba. Have you ever been out of bed? Have you ever been out of bed? Baba. Have you ever been out of bed? 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 He bara ba bara ba, he cash bara go, and bara go ba. Se bara all in the bed, who da ba cha do bara kanda da ba da 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 da. How la la ha? We da ba cha do bir, we da da do bara da kanda. I say, I'm bara ba kanda da ba da, hara ba da, do da ba da shu da da, ha. Well, I better think that I'm gonna die. Hara da da, bara da da. I think she's trying to say that you're the only one who can unite these um trash cans and lead their battle against the evil king, or something like that. Ha! Super da da. I'm confused. Hata hodo jiko, hona hata. 
ットで、だったほど、減っただ。まあ、まかなだっただな元なが、なったかなはなったたのだったとかまたたはったたたたでたたとと、たたこけはっぺっこだかほでっとなはは、きっとなったただひたたどでかはとどどひたなはたたくとひたほっぺきいたただひたたどでかはとどどひたなはたたくとひたほっぺきいた日が来たとさあ雪見のドン七海がおことごもくそのトークごもにがおこびりきっとおもくいだどこかいきもなかおそもこかきおもこのまどこまかか。僕はは、ノンチョ、あらかっぱらな。ガサ、ムロン、トン、カカスト。くつ、バラン。やがあらんたがうんがばらならたらおかかんちゃらもまはあばさかたそのごもあばるらだ
Love Mama. Lance ablaze. Flaming Lance. Forward. Not a scratch. Try that again. Liquidation! Lance at the ready. Indestructible. My turn. Stay right there while I give you a present. We're just having fun. <laughs> You can't run! Try that again! You can't run! Let the asset valuation begin. I'm on guard. Defend the weak. With me out here, how can we lose? Lance at the ready. Indestructible. Like more business knocking. You can't run. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Easy, my 
Candy. Easy. The market is unpredictable. Ah! Oh, right! Investing in victory means playing the long game! Lance of Blaze! Flaming Lance! Powered! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! I'm on guard. Fracture! Business, eh? <laughs> the market is unprotected. Right! Investing in victory means playing the long game! Finally collected three proofs of trust. Let's go back and deliver them. Samonaga Oro Parang Oro Oro. Ha. Naruto da. Haka. 
ガマタス誰もうよ<笑>もうよはどうあるかドロドロワロカラコラカジョノジョノチコナドラコピソドンカカドイコレオケジダルダドダダダダダバチョコザラダチョココロマカダカダルダドタルダダラボポトジャラジャラゴトイメパララノノガイノノガイタニマニガオダコキゴマイカゴノモオナオキゴナオマトマカガパパとヨネイレギマオドカノモカイシコノノカカイラハラコカラキカイチョウナタカモペドノピ
Such a meaningful dream came to an abrupt halt because of Miss Firefly. I was looking forward to seeing your face when the truth dawned on you. Hint at? No, more like reveal. Don't you want to find out the truth behind the dream? Don't let all that pretty scenery in the dream world distract you from your goal. As soon as you get complacent, you lose sight of the truth. Don't you think this dream bubble looks really similar to modern day Penacone? A small stage is crowded with a bunch of scheming people. None of them want to be exposed under the spotlight, so they all push you to the front. You're not at home anymore, kid. You've wandered into the depths of the unknown. Let me put it to you straight. Don't let yourself get enticed by that glowing light. I'm going to be very disappointed if you get bamboozled by the likes of them. Girl still here? She claims to be a local, but doesn't know how this world works. All she's got is street smarts. Who exactly is she? You don't find her the least bit suspicious? You better hurry up and confront her if you have any questions. Don't let her off scot-free. <laughs> See you around, pal. Don't let me down. What did Sampo mean? Is Firefly hiding something? I must find her and demand an explanation from her. She shouldn't be too far off. from you. I'm not a local. And there's a reason why the Bloodhound family is after me. I also have my own purpose for joining you on your journey. <laughs> but still, I appreciate your help. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. And, and my admiration for the Nameless is also genuine. You guys have been to a lot of worlds, met people from all walks of life, and experienced all sorts of things. Every day is a new beginning for you guys. <sighs> Can I bring you one more place? It isn't another tourist attraction. It's my very own secret base. And I'll do my best to tell you everything I know when we get there. Thanks.
Let's go this way. Huh? Is something crying for help over there? Hmm. I'm really curious too. 
Tick tock, tick tock. It's all Stone's fault that things have turned out this way. Of all the lowlifes in Dreamville, Stone's the worst. He's a greedy man who wants to drive everyone out of Dreamville so that he can have all the precious stones to himself. He instructed his underlings to wreak havoc in the dreamscape, taking away everyone's positive emotions. Since then, the town has been filled with anxiety and disputes. We're no longer a family. As the guardian of Dreamville, I can't just sit back and do nothing. By using the power of clockwork, I can direct the flow of positive emotions in the dreamscape back into people's hearts. That way, everyone can patch up their differences and get along again! My gray friend, I require your assistance. I have a feeling you'll be able to master the power of clockwork. After all, you're the special one who can see me. Also, you're a new visitor to this world, which means we have the element of surprise. If you take action now, we can catch him off guard. Feel an energy surging through your body? All we have to do is use clockwork on that cranky gangster boss and inject good emotions into him. Then we'll have won! Please bear in mind that you should never use clockwork with malicious intent. We're the guardians of Dreamville after all, tick tock! Mind your own business, lass. I have to let that lady there know she's messed with the wrong person. just now. Hey, he seems normal now. That's wonderful. You did it! It must have been. Otherwise, why would he suddenly be all calm and composed like this? Oh, was I about to get into a fight with that lady? Was I crazy? Hey, hey, may I ask you a question? 
Were you the one who made me simmer down earlier? I, I wasn't my normal self. Oh, we owe it to you. If we'd laid a finger on our guests just now, we would have faced severe punishment from the Bloodhound family. I'm so sorry for stirring up all this trouble. Alas, why did I get so worked up all of a sudden? It's, uh, it's, it's baffling. Oh, my great friend! You have to tell him that Stone is behind this. <laughs> that can be one of the reasons. Uh, anyway, uh, I owe everyone a proper apology. Hey, gang, gang, uh, line up and say sorry to our honored guests, huh? Uh, sure. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Ready? Go! We're so sorry for the trouble we caused. Wow, they look really sincere. In that case, can you ask them to leave now? Sure thing, eh? You're the boss. Hey, gang, let's give our VIP some space, eh? <laughs> yes, yes, boss. boss. <sighs> we meet again. Are you the one who helped settle everything down here? Misha! Are you acquainted with this great friend of mine? She's an esteemed guest whom I've befriended recently. I told you about her before. Does it ring a bell? Oh, it's her! Anyway, thanks a lot. If you hadn't gotten here in time, whew, I would have been in a real mess. <sighs> Thank you. I'm surprised we get to see each other again so soon. About all the commotion just now, I heard a bunch of masked fools were causing a ruckus on the streets. I happened to be passing through, got stopped for questioning, and there were some misunderstandings along the way. Anyway, I owe you another one. Is this lady your friend too? Well, we've only met each other once before. But she is a kind soul for helping me at the hotel. It's my pleasure to meet you, beautiful lady. Be beautiful lady? By the way, what did you do to that man earlier? It was like someone took him on an emotional roller coaster. I was wondering about that too. What happened back there exactly? you doing the clockwork, Dreamville would have been in some real trouble. Clocky? Yes, that cartoon character. I think he's shown up in reality, I mean in the dreamscape. I don't really know how a cartoon character could show up around here, but according to our friend here, only honest people with childlike innocence can see him. It seems like I'm too old to qualify for that. If Clucky really exists, that can explain a lot of things. Huh. Can you see me too? I can feel the presence of something inexplicable next to you. But it's a shame that I can't communicate with him like you can. We can both perceive these extraordinary things in the dream. Probably due to our ability to react to Memoria. But you're more attuned to it than I am. I thought your heightened perception was caused by something the elegant Memo Keeper might have left in your mind. Now it seems to me there are many more special beings like her in this dream. 
Shortly after we parted ways, I wandered into a ball without realizing it. A lady wearing a black veil invited me to dance. <laughs> it was my first dance, and it was an unforgettable experience. It's a shame that I forgot to ask her for her name. I only know that she's from the Garden of Recollection. Garden of Recollection? <gasps> Is that the group that serves the Eon of Remembrance? Exactly. They traverse freely between different worlds as mimetic entities, and are only visible to certain people. Doesn't she sound very much like that Flocky you saw? After all, it is a grand event held by the family. The guest list could be a lot longer than we imagine. Once again, thank you for being kind to me. I wish you a great time in the dream, and I shall not interrupt your... date? No! We're not on a date! <laughs> <sighs> She's gone. Well, shall we? I'll let you get back to your beeswax. Thanks, my great friend. I really appreciate your help. The Nameless are indeed a bunch of talented people. May our paths cross again. May our paths cross again. Tick tock. Please come with me. I hope that you won't be distracted by some invisible friend again. Sorry. I'm afraid we need to take the pinball machine to reach this place. Uh, you go first, and I'll be right behind you. Hold is a cafe. Here. Here we are. This is the place. No, uh, it isn't. This is. Yes, it's right inside. Let me show you how to do it. It's going to be very dark at first, so you'll have to stay close to me. Huh? Hey, let me ask you something. Is following girls around like a lost puppy your way of getting their attention? You've been doing this for nearly half a system hour. To be more precise, it's been 45 minutes. Time sure flies when you're having fun, doesn't it? <sighs> Spare me. Beautiful eyes, though. Are you from Sigonia? Need another hint? I'm an Avgen. My eyes might not be as pretty as yours, but there's no problem with my vision. You Sigonians are notorious throughout the entire universe. Liars, 
thieves, social manipulators, wolves in sheep's clothing. You're really living up to the reputation. I say, you belong to the space under the manhole cover. Not in a dream. There's one right over there. Off you go. I'll pass. The gloomy shade of a place like that just wouldn't go with my vibe. Dreamville is frivolous, vain, and flashy. And that suits me just fine. Also, it never rains here. My outfit is too expensive to be exposed to the elements. Cut it out and go home, you slick talker. We are fools, but we aren't stupid. We aren't interested in playing the friend game with the lapdogs of the IPC. <laughs> really? You've never been friends with anyone from the IPC? Do you think I know nothing about the history of Penacony? Don't drag me into your banal office politics! <laughs> Fool, you've been left with no choice since the moment you accepted the invitation to be here. You better pick a side while you have the chance. Or else you'll end up losing everything. You sound very sure of yourself. Looks like you've already convinced that chicken wing boy from the family. How did you do it, little peacock? Did you strip yourself naked, apologize to him on your knees, and promise that the IPC would never harm Panacone? Friends? Oh, please. You guys only treat others as your bargaining chips. Oh, what's wrong with chips? In any gamble, the only players that will never be on the losing side are the chips. My friends from the Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express are all smart enough to understand that. But the smarter ones wouldn't have joined the game in the first place. See? I'm smarter. Listen, little peacock. You've been invited by the tavern before, too. If you want the masked fools to get on board, you need to figure out what it is the laughter wants. Here's a hint for you. Since you can't convince anyone, why don't you find a rock to be friends with? At least a rock won't be able to refute your arguments. <laughs> So long! <laughs> Thanks. I'll keep your advice in mind. <sighs> what a pain in the neck. I guess I'll have to meet with the family again. isn't it? Guests aren't allowed here, so we have to be careful not to get caught. Don't worry, this place isn't dangerous, just, um, think of this as the border of Golden Hour. The family is still building and remodeling the dreamscape beyond here. My secret stronghold is in this area. Let's sneak inside. A little more to the left. Yes, Sarsen. 
Hey, excuse me, there's a construction site ahead. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in. Trat! We're caught right away. Could you... Uh, please make an exception? We're not gonna cause any trouble. Uh, not a chance. Our boss made it clear that only the Dreamers are allowed here. He won't budge. People ask for favors every day. Am I supposed to just say yes to all of them? None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. <sighs> Seems like you won't give in. Um, let me think of another way. Perhaps Clocky's clockwork trick can come in handy? This doesn't count as malicious intent, right? None of your tricks are going to work. Please do yourself and me a favor and go home. Bad? <laughs> How so? I feel like uh, I'm on cloud nine. Ooh, can you feel it? It's, this is wild. It feels like I just downed ten bottles of Apocalypse Soul Glad in one gulp and spent an entire day at the Dreamscape sales store. Oh, if Mia were here, we would sing a song together. Oh, I'm sure she would understand how I feel. I can hardly contain this palpable excitement. Oh, I'd like to invite you to dance with me, beautiful. Right here, right now. Oh. That's a downer, but not for me. <laughs> I'm still brimming with elation. This crazy mood and this pounding heart are just what I need. I, I wish, I wish it would last forever. <sighs> still, I won't let you guys in because it's my duty to stop you. <laughs> he really is a man of principle. Honored guests, welcome to Penacony. I'm a member of the Bloodhound family, and my job is maintaining order in the dreamscape. In fact, no danger will arise under the family's protection, which makes my job redundant. Even a trash can is more important than me.
Oh, in that case, I'd recommend that you see Dr. Edward for a psychotherapy session. <laughs> oh. Anyway, please just give me some privacy. You two should enjoy this fun and exciting dreamscape instead of talking to someone who is worse than a trash can. <laughs> Oh, 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 no way. This, there's little dignity left in me. Please be nice and don't trample on it. I, sure enough, you guys can force your way through, but I swear I'll stop you or die trying. After all, I have nothing left to lose. I feel really bad. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed at the construction site. Gah! Do you two really want to stay here and test my patience? You're going to regret it. Don't try talking back to me. I deal with punks like you all the time. You fear for nothing just because you're young and energetic. You idle away your time every day, going around, stirring up trouble. You contribute nothing to society. Let me help you spoiled brats learn the hard way. Go, Sweet Dreams Troop! Teach them a lesson! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! I'm on guard. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Defend the weak. Just having fun. <laughs> Try that again. You can't. <laughs> you have the worst luck running into me. With me out here, how can we lose? Try this on for size. I've lost! Uh, is this... 
Is this the power of youth? If I'd had that power back then, would we have ended up differently, Mia? All right. You can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. Seems like he's taking this winning and losing thing a little too seriously. <laughs> well, at least we finally get to go through. Never imagined that's how we'd end up getting past the guard. <laughs> that trick of Clocky's really is amazing. All right. Uh, you can go in. As the winner here, you deserve it. <laughs> 